Hi there, here's Philips newly launched soundbar, the Tab 8947. It comes with 660 watt sound output clubbed with a wireless subwoofer. And I can easily say, Philips has gone full throttle with this one. It comes with Dolby Atmos, HDMI ARC pass through with support for Dolby Vision and HDR, Apple AirPlay, Chromecast support, a huge 8 inch subwoofer, and trust me, the bass on this one rumbles like a movie theater. I've been using it for a couple of days. I'll share all about it, the specs, the features, and the experience, so you can decide if you should buy this soundbar or not. Let's begin. Taking you through a quick unboxing, this is the retail packaging. You can see some of its key features mentioned here. Inside the box is the soundbar itself, the subwoofer and an accessories box. Inside the accessory box, we get some paperwork, the warranty information, then you have a guide on how to wall mount the soundbar and the user manual. Then you have two separate power cables, one is for the soundbar, one is for the subwoofer. Two wall mount brackets, screws for the wall mount, two AAA batteries for the remote and finally the remote itself. Now if you have a look at it, it's really nice and compact looking remote. You can see the power button on the top, the input button, equalizer button, mute button, D-pad to navigate, volume up and down, pause play, previous and next track, settings, back button, control the Dolby volume and control the subwoofer volume. Really nice, compact and easy to use remote. Surprisingly, there's no HDMI cable provided, which is actually the most ideal way to connect this soundbar to the TV. Anyway, I'll link a few in the description. If you'd like to buy one, do check it out. All right, a quick look at the soundbar. It's extremely well built and the design screams premium. It has a very distinctive geometric design, truly making it stand out. The front metal grill goes all the way from the front to the top. Unlike most soundbars that are black, this one is silver gray in color gives a very futuristic feel. Philips branding right in the center, touch buttons on the extreme right, volume up, volume down, pause play, input toggle and the power button. On the front is an LED display, shows you the volume, the input source and more such information. Now, this is a pretty long soundbar, 44 inches in length and fits perfectly between my TV stands. It houses three front firing drivers, left, center and right channels and two top firing speakers which help create the Atmos experience. Coming to the subwoofer, it's wireless, so there are no cables connecting the soundbar. Here are the dimensions, it will be helpful if you have space constraints. It's the exact same silver grey, perfectly matching the soundbar. Very clean and extremely well built. You can spot the mesh fabric on the right, protecting the 8 inch subwoofer. On the back is the power port, the pairing button and further below is the bass reflex cone. Talking about the ports on the soundbar, all are tucked behind. The power input port, HDMI 1, HDMI 2, HDMI ARC, Wi-Fi reset, optical, aux input, and a USB-A port to plug in your pen drives. Now, HDMI 1 and HDMI 2 ports are input ports, where you can connect a smart TV stick, a setup box, or a gaming console. Now, some of you might think, how does that help? I could just plug those into my TV's HDMI port. Well, when connected via the soundbar, it will pass through Dolby Vision, HDR and Dolby Atmos flawlessly. It's always better to plug in these input ports in the soundbar rather than the TV for better encoding. Setting up the soundbar is fairly easy. Ideally placed in front of the TV with the subwoofer placed on the floor. When placed just next to the soundbar, it's actually the most ideal positioning. In most scenarios, the subwoofer will automatically pair with the soundbar. Just in case it doesn't, just press the pairing button on the subwoofer for a couple of seconds and that should do the job. Ideally, if it's connected to a TV, use the HDMI ARC connection. It's ideal. Alright, enough details and specs, let's see how it sounds. Yeah. <laughs> 
Wow. Okay, first you need to know the total sound output is 660 watts and trust me it gets really loud and even at high volume we didn't experience any kind of audio distortion. It remains crystal clear. Alright, I have some good news. Bass lovers are going to freak out. It would be hard to articulate the experience in words but I'll try. The bass is deep and punchy yet not hitting your head or your heart. You can feel it but it doesn't make you feel uncomfortable. It's so well tuned. The clarity and instrument separation are brilliant, especially when listening to music. Even with deep bass, the instrument and vocals stand out, which is really important. It doesn't feel or sound muffled. Of course, it comes with a few preset sound profiles that you can change depending on what you're using the soundbar for. All right, let's talk business, Dolby Atmos experience. Well, firstly, the content playing has to be true Atmos, like you could get a lot of Atmos content from Netflix, Hotstar, and even Apple Music. Now, to experience true Dolby Atmos, you need speakers at the rear. But what this Philips soundbar does is, it uses the front and top firing speakers. It simulates the experience by bouncing sound off the roof. It creates a virtual zone that gives you the feeling that the sound is coming from different directions. To tell you the truth, very impressive, especially for a soundbar with no rear speakers. The best part of Atmos is that it makes the viewing experience so much more immersive. Like when you're watching an action scene, the helicopter blade sound can be heard from all directions. It's magical. It's actually perfect for those who want a clean setup, front soundbar and a subwoofer. No rear speakers, there's no wiring mess at all. The sound quality and the experience is probably one of the best parts about the Philips Tab 8947. It sounds premium from the word go. Now, as I said earlier, it has multiple input sources. There's USB pen drive you can plug in to play audio. There's Bluetooth, there's aux, there's optical, and of course there's HDMI arc, which I highly recommend you use when connected to a TV. The soundbar volume and the power will work simultaneously with the TV's remote. It's very convenient. Then from the remote, you can adjust the bass levels, you can adjust the treble levels, audio sync, like for example, you have connected this via Bluetooth, you experience that slight delay, that is when sync will help. Then software updates as well, which by the way, I received in just a few minutes of turning this on first time, and it happened automatically. You can even dim the LED lights, low, mid, high, and for those who find that the LED light is distracting while you're watching a movie, well, you can completely turn it off as well. Pretty cool. Then one of my favorite features is using Apple AirPlay to stream music via my iPhone. It works really, really well. In fact, Android users too can use the Google Home app and do the same, cast audio from any platform to the soundbar. Now, I know some of you might say, why cast or AirPlay? Just connect via Bluetooth. Well, there are tons of benefits of AirPlaying and casting. The biggest one being superior sound quality. If you're using Apple Music on an iPhone, it'll support lossless audio with Dolby Atmos. The difference between a track playing via Bluetooth and AirPlay will be day and night. And it doesn't end here. When playing via Bluetooth, you get a call or notification, the music is always interrupted. But when streaming via AirPlay, it's seamless. Receive calls, talk on the phone, get your notifications, and the music isn't interrupted at all. AirPlay and Chromecast are both very useful features to stream music from your phone to the soundbar. Must have, I'd say. All right, coming to the price. So you can buy this Philips Tab 8940 soundbar from Amazon for 34,990. And I can confidently say, for this price, the experience and sound quality it offers is stellar. The only con for me is, since it comes with Dolby Atmos, it would have been great if they had support for rear speakers. Something consumers could buy probably later and attach. Anyway, that's just nitpicking. If you're looking for a premium soundbar, easy setup, HDMI pass-through, super deep bass, airplay, Chromecast support, don't even blink before buying this one. Easily recommended. I'll share the purchase links in the description. If you'd like to buy one, you should definitely check it out. So I hope this video was helpful. If there are any questions, mention them down in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them all. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, cheers.